Today, I'm going to show you this weird algebra problem. So we have two equations and two points of intersection. And we need to find all of the constants. So the constants in this case are B, C, M, and K. So we're going to start off by substituting our two points into each of the equations. So let's start with this top equation, the quadratic. And we'll start with this left point first. So y is now 6, x is now k. So what we're going to get then is the y replaces with 6 equals to x squared, which is now k squared, plus bx, which is now plus bk, plus c. If we now take the second point and substitute that as the same equation, what are we going to get? Well, the y is now minus 2 equals to 3 squared, so that's going to be 9, plus 3 times b, plus c. So we can kind of simplify this a little bit. We can collect like terms with our constants. So what have we got? And we'll rearrange for c as well. So we'll say that c is equal to, well, take away the 9, gives this minus 11, and taking the 3b as well. What we get then is it's minus 3b, minus 11. Spot on. So now we'll do the same process with this linear equation. So we'll start with the first point with the k and the 6. So what do we get? Well, we get the 6 is equal to m times x, so it's m times k, plus 4. And now we'll do the same equation, but with this second point. So we get minus 2 is equal to 3 times m, plus 4. So this final equation is slightly different. In all of the ones before, we've been left with a scenario with either, well in this first one we have three constants, here we have two, here we have two, and here we just have one. So when we have one equation with one unknown, we're normally able to solve it. Jim, if we had two in here, like in this, look at this one, we have an M and a K. Where we have the two, we're never able to find a single solution. It's going to describe a line. But we want to find a value for M, so we're able to find a value in this scenario where it's the only variable in the equation. So if we rearrange that, what do we get? Well, 3M is equal to minus 6 by taking away the 4 from both sides. Now if we divide by 3, we get M is equal to minus 2. Spot on. So now we've got that one. We can use this value and plug it into some of the other equations that we found out and hopefully find the rest of our constants. So if we look at this one, we've got an m and a k. And we now we know the value of m. So effectively, this is an equation with one unknown, just the k. So we'll take this equation and we'll substitute in m equals 2, well, m equals minus 2, instead of the m in here. So what does that give us? Well, we get that 6 is equal to m times k, so now minus 2 times by k plus the 4. So if we rearrange for k, what do we get? Well, 2k, if we add the 2k to both sides, and if we take 6 as well, what do we get? We get minus 2. So overall, k is equal to minus 1. Lovely jubbly. So now we can do the same process. We're going to take these two values and have a look above and see what we can find out. Well, this one, the c and the b, we don't know c or b, so this equation isn't very helpful. But looking up here, we have a b, a k, and a c. So again, we've not got a scenario where we could replace one of the constants, like the m or the k, and end up with an equation with one unknown um, and able to solve it. So what we're going to do, we're going to sub in the value of k into this one and end up with a situation where we have two simultaneous equations involving c and b, and then we'll try and solve those. So taking this top one, let's replace k with our value of minus 1. So now, do this back in white, we get that 6 is equal to k squared, so now minus 1 squared, uh, plus b times k, so that's going to be minus b, plus c. 1 squared, well minus 1 squared is 1, so it's 1 minus b plus c is equal to 6. And I'll rearrange, so we have c equals, because up here we have c equals as well. So this gives us then that c is equal to 5 plus b. Beautiful. So what we can do now, we can take these two equations, and because it's both c equals, we can set the other two sides equal to each other. You can either think of it like that, or imagine just substituting, like we'll replace this c with this thing instead. Ends up with the same scenario. So what do we get? Well, that 5 plus b is equal to minus 3b minus 11. So if we rearrange for b, what do we get? Well, we have 4b, uh, add in 3b, and if we take away the 5 now, that's equal to minus 16. So b 
we know is equal to minus 4. Last but not least then, we want to find the value of c. We can use either of these two, or this one if we really wanted to, but these two are probably a bit easier. Um, and I recommend the bottom one because there's no negatives, uh, there's no multiples of b. Nice and simple, it's just going to be 4 plus minus 4, uh, sorry, 5 plus minus 4. So 5 minus 4, which is 1. Do this in white as well. So c is equal to 5 minus 4, which is equal to 1. Just write that in a whole thing. So we've got all of our answers together, and we'll write them on the side. M is minus 2. K is minus 1. B is equal to minus 4. And C is equal to 1. Beautiful.